What's up guys, Tim Little, Matt Allen. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Today we're gonna it up, switch it up a little bit and we're gonna do some crappie fishing. Uh, you know, Clear Lake is known for big bass, but we also have some pretty big crappie. So uh, it's a great way to go out and catch a lot of fish in the winter time and, and uh, practice on your finesse techniques. So we're gonna go out, stick some fish, come along with us. Bummer, I was hoping it was up. Gotta love the first cast. Uh, nice little one. It's not that, not that big. We get some big ones here. I've seen them four pounds. I saw one last year. Probably close to five pounds would have been a world record but it was in a nice chest but be <laughs> beautiful beautiful fish <laughs> too much fun Missed them. <laughs> you know, even though this isn't a bass, you can still take your finesse presentations, the same stuff you do for bass, and and uh, perfect, perfect them for bass. You know, uh, watching your slack line on the fall for bites on the fall, um, the bites where it's just weight, you don't feel anything. The more time on the water, the more time you're getting bit, the better your techniques and your skill get. You know, they're really good for learning to fight fish on that light line too. Right. Is that if you're a if you're a heavy line guy, you don't spend a spend a lot of time finesse fishing. Crappie are such a powerful fish when they turn broadside. They get really strong. They can hold back from the boat. It's a really good way if you want to get into light line fishing. It's a way to learn how to fight those fish without the heartbreak of losing big bass while you're trying to figure it out. <laughs> I don't know what Matt's throwing. I'm throwing a little tiny Kitek on a little underspin. I'm throwing a you know, the float and fly technique. I'm throwing just the fly, so an actual hair jig. Uh, I've, I have found, and you found too, we've done this a lot together. Over the years, if you're crappie fishing with a crappie jig, we don't do anywhere near as well as we do when we use some carryover from bass fishing. The little Kitek, the hair jigs in particular, compared to an actual rubber crappie jig, night and day difference. Hair jigs are an amazing way to catch crappie. Little underspins are a great option. Uh, if you're fishing where a lot of guys are crappie fishing and you step it up and actually bring some, some bass fishing into the game, start throwing that hair jig, that little Kitek, those other baits, Showing them something they're not used to seeing, you can really tear them up. Oh, missed that one. Jeez, he hit that hard. You can really tear them up when other people are struggling. Yeah, we're sitting at a, <laughs> we're sitting at about uh, 10 to 13 feet, and most of these fish are suspended, so we're firing out, we're letting that bait fall in semi-slack line and just watching for the bite on the way down. <laughs> and then once, once we're getting through the initial fall, then I'm just swimming this little swim bait and they crack it. Like that.
I know a lot of you guys are like, why are you guys throwing the crappie back? Why aren't you guys eating them? It's just, I'm not a big. I don't like cleaning them. <laughs> I really know. Electronics are very important on this type of fishing too. You know, up here on front, I got my side image my side imaging going so I can see the schools out here and Matt can see the schools over here. So we're just literally drifting through them and when we see them, casting to them. <laughs> You're really pinpointing it. So it's it's not random at that point. You're throwing right to the fish. We're saving a lot of time because there's not fish everywhere in here. This pocket's got a ton of fish in it, but they're in very defined groups, very defined schools. We could throw right to them. Oh, a little bit better one. Nice fish. Just munching this little tiny underspin. Another thing too, like Matt was talking about, as soon as you start throwing bass stuff for these fish, you know, crappie are game fish. They're, they're very aggressive. Bluegill sunfish for that matter, they're all aggressive. So any of these tactics that work for bass, you scale them down a little bit, they work great for trout, all, all your game fish. Oh, missed him. See if we can catch one straight up and down right here. Oh, missed him. <laughs> Got him. Straight up and down. Looking right down on those fish. Man, that's fun. We could be out grinding for largemouth right now. You know, this time of year you catch giant largies, but you're not getting very many times, very many bites a day. You're really working for them really nice to take a break and just Stick. wail on some crappie on light line drag screaming man it's fun Yeah, there's definitely some smaller ones over here because I got bit three or four times on that last last cast. Typically the bigger ones just hit it once. Lock up, lock up. Come on. Come on. So much fun. It's great, man, getting the kids out or people that don't necessarily fish a lot and fishing so much more fun when you're actually catching. Isn't that the truth? So it's great to get Get the little guys out here. People that don't fish as much. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Come on, come back for it. On that fall, you're watching that V where your line touches the water and you're you're looking for a, oh, it's got bit again. You're looking for a line slap or your line to jump. Cause that bait's just swimming down. That was just a mush bite, just got heavy. Typically those are the ones that just choke it. A little bit better fish. <sighs> Beautiful fish too. Let's get a close up of this one. Yeah. Take that one over there too. In case you guys are wondering, these are black crappie. They get that gorgeous color. I don't know if this is in focus or not, but this one got some Meat shoulders and the gut on it, but so much fun. <laughs> Choked it. Yeah, he did. All the way down. Oh no, I think I have the small one of the day. Oh, it's not too bad. Another question we get asked quite a bit is uh, about back reeling. Um, a lot of reels have a little switch right here and it allows you to reel backwards and take some of that pressure off the drag. Um, if I'm fishing real light line, I love to back reel. And the, one of the biggest misconceptions about back reeling is that the drag doesn't work. If I just hold my handle here, the drag will still work. So you have all the benefits of the drag, but you can also slowly, when fish take big runs, you can slowly reduce uh, the pressure on the line by just reeling slowly backwards. All I do is you just kind of free your elbow and let it go with the fish, but flip the switch back over when the fish gets close, you're good to go. What? What is the advantage of the back reel? Explain that again. Why, why should somebody try it? Um, you're taking all of your, you're taking all the reliability out of just the drag. It's, it puts more of the, the fighting in, in your hands. And, you know, you know, it really happened when we were chasing those big, you know, 10 plus pound spots on light line, they'd come up to the boat and you think they were done. And, all of a sudden they'd do a couple tail kicks and they'd snap your line. Um, when you have, just wanna choke this thing. When you have, when you're back reeling, you have that ability to um, I'll take it. give extra Next line. Time. You know, you see a lot of guys do it. You know, you'll see them fighting a fish and they're fighting it and you see them pulling, pulling extra drag to, or pulling line to assist their drag. You know, you see people fighting fish all the time. You need pliers? Yeah. Um, it's just the spinning rod version of that. Yeah, I think the, the guys that need to hear that the most, well, everybody needs to hear it really, but the guy that will immediately benefit there we go. Is, uh, is the guy using the 
lower price point equipment, he'll see the benefit first. Because right. those are the guys where, you know, if you hook a good fish and your drag is jerking, uh, uh, takes line, stops. You could see that rod tip when it's <laughs> when it's stripping line. <laughs> Bent that hook. That's where that back reeling will make a huge difference for a guy. But even in, in high end tackle, I mean, I watched him do it all the time and it makes a major difference. But for that guy with a, a little bit less expensive reel, where the drag quality might not be as good, you can really make up for that back reel in the way Tim is talking about. There's a perfect uh, opportunity to try something like that. Go out to the pond, go out to the lake and go uh, bluegill fishing or crappie fishing and just get comfortable with it. And I can honestly say I have never lost a fish uh, once I learned to back reel because of the drag or back reeling. I haven't broken one off. I mean, and that's been several, several years. We have a video out there somewhere where I catch like a 15 or 17 or 20 pound cat on four pound floor. Oh. Yeah. Another thing you'll see me do too, after every cast with a spinning rod, I actually flip the bale over. I don't, I don't reel and turn the handle to click the bale over because every time you do that, it's adding a twist in your line. And then I'll also oh. pull a little bit on the drag just to make sure that my drag is ready to go. It doesn't matter much on these guys, but when you're fishing around world-class fish, that's you don't want any mistakes. So I'll, I'll give it a, oh, there's a bite. I'll give it a little, like that, just to make sure that my reel's ready to go. That guy's got shoulders. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was a swim bait bite. Oh, that's a good one there. Hey, buddy. This is a good one. Here, I'll get a pair of beautiful Clear Lake black crappie right there. Incredibly clean fish, strong fighters, a great fish to chase in the winter time when the bite overall is tough. Such a fun fish. All right, guys, we, we hope you enjoyed coming out with us chasing crappie for a few minutes. It's one of those things where that bite can just get so hot and heavy so fast catch a ton of fish. We know this is tactical bassin. We know that we primarily talk to you about bass fishing, but you've got to hang on to that passion for just fishing. These other species are so much fun, especially when that bass bite gets slow. And how can you not enjoy coming out here and just setting the hook on a pile of fish? It's too much fun. Like every video down in the video description, We'll link you all our gear. If this is something you want to try, we'll link you to the jigs and the Kitech, the rods, the reels, all that stuff. So you can come out and catch these fish. It's not hard to do. It's really fun and you can catch a ton of fish. So don't hesitate to do it this winter. Thanks for coming along. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you soon.